Hey Lauren, my name is Marquise and I'm the owner of Nomadic Marketing and in this video I'm actually going to show you guys three things that you can do today to help bring in more clients to your law firm. Now most likely you know you're just sitting there asking yourself why would I even be doing this in the first place or, or better yet you know what's in it for me and honestly those are pretty valid questions. Oftentimes in the world of the internet most business owners are too busy actually running their business to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation that they have to working with someone is they don't know who's an expert and who isn't, uh, who's going to really try to help them or who's going to end up, you know, just trying to take their money and run. Uh, I've found by giving people a free attack plan of actual things that they can do to impact their business, it's resulted in business owners just kind of standing up, you know, raising their hands and saying, hey, Marquise, can you just do this for me? So if by the end of the video, you feel like I can help you with gaining new clients, uh, feel free to give me a call and uh, reach out and we can have a chat. Um, or you can actually take any of the information that I'm giving you today and you can kind of use it on your own and that's fine with me too, all right? So Lawrence, uh, now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time. So the three things that I'm gonna go over today are gonna be content, citations, and backlinks. So the first thing is content. So think of content as any of the words, phrases, pictures, all of this stuff that shows up on your website. So in order to be fully optimized with Google, you should have at least 1500 words on your front page. So what I did was I actually took um, your domain, I took your website and threw it into one of the tools that we utilize here. This is SEO Quake. This is a free tool, anybody can utilize it, um, runs at a Chrome extension, which means you can just add it right onto your browser. So I took your website, threw it into this tool here, and it pops up with the total amount of words being 441. So you guys are about 1100 words away from being fully optimized with Google. Um, now this is a small change to make, uh, but it can have a very big impact on where you show up and how you show up organically. So definitely something to think about and to think about uh, potentially adding in, utilizing, changing when it comes to your website. Especially when you take something like comparing you guys to like some of your competitors. So I actually threw one of your competitors in here. This is Injury Attorney FLA. Uh, looks like they have over 4,000 words. So they have way more than triple or way more than double, almost triple the amount of words that you would need in order to be fully optimized. And this puts them in a really good position because they're able to add in a lot of words, key terms, key phrases that uh, are associated with not only their business, but then also the same things that uh, their potential clients, customers are actually looking up when they're searching on Google. So something to think about. Second thing that we're going to talk about is going to be citation. So in order to really grasp what citations are, basically you just need to do a quick keyword search. So what I did is I threw in um, this key phrase, Miami personal injury attorney, right into Google. When you do that, there are a couple things that show up. One is going to be this ads area. So as you can see, there are two different kinds of ads. These are the Google screened ads. So this is a little bit longer of a process only because once you put your information in, Google then goes through the process of actually screening you. It's a little bit more in depth where they go into your background of your business, take a look at you and make sure that you are reputable and you've been around for a long time. Um, under that is the regular Google ads. So these are Google search ads. Um, these are great. Um, because they are essentially pay-per-click. So you only pay when a person actually clicks on the ad. So they can go one of two ways. Either they can be extremely lucrative for a business, which is uh, wonderful, ends up with you bringing in a, a ton of clients, or they can be very costly, um, especially when working with anything within legal, you know, attorneys, lawyers, um, you guys tend to spend the most when it comes to any kind of like, uh, key terms or key phrases, it can range anywhere from like $60, $70 per word to $200, $300 per word. So definitely something to be mindful of. The section that I really want to show you guys is right underneath here. So this is the Google Map Pack or the Google Maps for short. So it's where you can find the um, name, address, 
and phone number for a business. So I, I definitely have business owners approach me and just kind of ask me like, hey, Marquise, how can I show up in this map pack? And by show up, they do mean show up in like one of these top three sections. Um, and it, honestly, there, there are a couple of things that you can do that actually help you to show up, some of which are um, optimizing your description, making sure that that includes like different keywords, phrases that you want to show up for uh, within searches. Uh, the second thing is optimizing like photos. Um, and one of the biggest things is uh, getting a firm grasp on your citation. So citations are basically anywhere on the internet where your name, address, and phone number show up exactly the same. So you got to think of citations as like, um, like online directory. So similar to like the yellow pages, uh, you know how they used to show up at your door. So basically the yellow pages is now online and there are different directories similar to the yellow pages in which uh, a business can put in their information, like their name, the address and the phone number. Uh, so what I did was I actually threw your information into one of the other tools that we utilize here. This is whitespark.ca. Essentially it's a local citation finder. Um, I think that this ranges from like 30 to $70 a month, so a very nominal cost, but it really does give you a lot of information on the amount of citations that a business has across the web. So as you can see here, when it comes to Roar Lawyers here, looks like you guys have about 29 different citation sources. And what I did was I actually clicked on it, so it can show me where these citations are for you guys, which is great to be able to see. Uh, when you compare yourself to one of your competitors here, looks like they have about 55 citations. And exactly what I did with uh, you guys, I can do with your competitors. And this is great because then I can kind of like compare and see what citations you guys show up for or what citations you don't show up for that your competitor shows up for. And then kind of like go through it and see which ones you could potentially be put in for, which is great for you. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about is going to be backlinks. So think of backlinks as how a website has authority on the web. So simply put, if you were to take site A, right, and site A points to site B, therefore site A is acting as a backlink for site B, which is giving site B more authority on the web. So Google is kind of like a um, popularity contest. The more sites that are pointing at you, the more popular you are in Google's eyes, which is great. Um, but not just any backlinks work though, they do need to be relevant. So the difference between having a backlink from, I don't know, bestlawyers.com and having a backlink from dominospizza.com, you know? Like one actually deals with your same industry and one you can get 10% off your next slice. Um, but what I did was I actually took your uh, website again, threw it into another tool that we use here. This is Ahrefs. This is a pretty robust tool that shows you a lot when it comes to the back end of how a website will show up across the web. So I threw you guys in, and it looks like here you have about four, a little bit over 4,000, 4.2 uh, K backlinks. You guys are doing pretty well in this area. So uh, 4.2 K is not bad. And that's across 160 referring domains. Basically, it means these 160 websites are attached or pointing to your web page through these 4.2 K backlinks. So some of these websites have multiple backlinks that are coming from them, which is great. Um, I've worked with people and sites and companies that they have no backlinks, you know, no referring domains, none of this. So to have 4.2K means that you guys have either know what you're doing on your own or you probably work with an SEO company or have in the past. I will say that um, even with this being a good place, you, do guys, you guys do have a little bit of ways to go, especially when you compare it to one of your competitors again. So this is Injury Attorney FLA once again. They have about 28 thousand backlinks across 334 referring domains so they have almost what seven times the amount of uh, backlinks that you guys have um and i mean most of the battle is just knowing where you stand and honestly even having 28 thousand backlinks that's not unbeatable you know you can get up to this amount of backlinks you just need to know where to go so this is definitely something to think about and to potentially pursue in the future. And what's great is 
with having a tool like this, once again, I can just click on the referring domains that they're in for and kind of look and see what domains they have and kind of put you guys in for the same. All right. So once again, just to kind of like re recap what we ran over today, uh, the first thing was content. So in order to be fully optimized in Google's eyes, you need to have at least 1500 words on that front page of yours. Second thing, citations. So you're gonna to wanna to have anywhere between uh, 200 and 300 of these, just to kind of beat out your competition by the landslide. So if you take a look at the citations, most companies, they, they range anywhere between like 25, 30 to around like 55. So everybody's within this group. Somewhere you guys, you're on like the outside and they're on like the, the other side, basically. So everyone falls within this group. So if you wanna stand out, you're gonna to wanna to have more than your competitors. So 200 to 300 citations definitely puts you in the league all your own. And the last thing is backlinks. So you are gonna need more relevant sites pointing at you guys, just so Google, you are the authority. And if you were to implement these strategies today, you could be number one across Google. So I guess I bet you're wondering, um, you know, what now? Well, you can either go and use the information that I presented you today, and you can use it all on your own, and I'm perfectly all right with that. Or if you want the most effective route and actually want to save yourself some time, you can give me a call at 970-829-1342. Once again, my name is Marquise with Nomadic Marketing, and my best number is 970-829-1342. Thank you so much, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good one.